This video covers the import of projects created in STM32CubeMX. STM32CubeMX is a free graphical tool provided by ST Microelectronics. STM32CubeMX allows configuration of STM32 microcontrollers and generation of the corresponding initialization C code through a step by step process. To follow along with this tutorial, you will need STM32 Cube MX installed, Crossworks for ARM version 3 or later installed and activated. Optionally, an STM32 based evaluation board such as the Nucleo L073RZ. Here we see a basic project set up in STM32 Cube MX. I have used the steps suggested in the ST Microelectronics demo entitled STM32 Cube MX in 5 points to set up this project. Once the project is set up, go to Project Settings. Give your STM32 Cube MX project a name and location. You can choose to export to various toolchains. Crossworks can import both IAR's EW ARM and Kyle's MDK ARM v4 or v5 project formats. I will use the MDK ARM v5 project option. The other tabs of this form give you many more options, but I will stick with the defaults for now. Choose Project, Generate Code. Once done, you can view the exported project file by clicking the open folder button on the next dialog box. Open Crossworks. Before we import the project file generated by STM32CubeMX, we need to ensure that we have the relevant board support packages installed. I'm using the Nucleo L073RZ, so I search for its support package as shown. Crossworks will automatically install any other support packages required for the board I have selected. Go to File, Import IAR EW ARM forward slash Kyle MDK project. Browse to the exported project file you created and double click on the project file as shown. A dialog box opens called Project Template Chooser, displaying relevant templates. I'm going to use the Nucleo L073RZ template, but you could also use the more generic STM32 template. Click OK. The next dialog allows you to confirm the target processor. This is the processor I have, so again I can click OK. And that's it. Let's just see if everything is OK by creating a small program to check everything is working as expected. For more information about Crossworks for ARM, please visit us at www.rowley.co.uk or try one of our other videos shown now. Thanks for watching.